simple, basic, base under siege episode. It is written by Chris Chimnall, who obviously now writes series 11 as this showrunner. Um, but for this episode, while I was looking at doing a bit of research about it, um, I found something to do with him getting interviewed a long time ago in 1986 about Doctor Who. Um, no, not 18... 18... 1984. He, I saw a thing about him getting interviewed in 1984 about Doctor Who, um, and I think he basically sums up his entire episode um, as a child. <laughs> Well, not that, not only that, but it was also very cliched. It was very routine, running up and down corridors and silly monsters. It was perhaps a little too um, routine Doctor Who, very much what the audience is expecting. It's not really very challenging for them to watch. And a uh, very traditional sort of thing that people would expect Doctor Who to fall into. Um, but I still felt that that story was fairly um, boring. I do kind of agree with him. That may have, that clip may have been taken out of context, but I do kind of believe that he did write a pretty predictable, plain and simple episode. I do like things in this episode, so let's talk about that. It may be simple, but the time pressure and the 42 minutes until they crash into the sun idea is something really quite clever, and it should be praised for it, even if it's kind of plain and kind of cliche. Uh, the time is something that nobody can outrun, even the Doctor, and we all have to go through beating time, I suppose, but time can't really be beaten. Um, you know, in exams you're trying to beat the clock to get all of the exam stuff done within the time, which then you don't fail because you can't pass if you don't complete everything because you simply can't get the amount of marks that you need. It's quite relatable and uh, there's always this sense of tenseness and um, needing to be faster. I like the uh, action in this episode. The villain itself is has sort of the slow approach and everything and the black of humanity that is in his face because obviously he wears the helmet so as he's wearing this helmet he's walking around with the helmet on his head it's the same way as if I started walking around with a cyber mask it'd be a lot more scary than just my regular face it kind of loses the the features in a face and uh, those features are uh, lacking the humanity if you dressed up as a clown, it'd be a lot more scary than if you just traced people around the street. When the Doctor gets infested with this um, sun virus thing, uh, he... He kind of raises the tension again because he's tricky. Because he's, he's the main character and the fact that you could lose him to something that the other people have failed to survive as well. After calling it basic and formulaic and quite dull, I still quite like this episode. Like, I could write this episode, it doesn't mean it's bad. The message for this episode is probably about the formulaic stuff. The message of this episode is that it is so formulaic that it's actually good. <laughs> the message of the episode is that I feel like people expect each episode of Doctor Who to be groundbreaking and incredible, but episodes aren't like that. They are... Now every single episode has to be the astonishing peak of television. An episode of Doctor Who, because of the, the different writers and everything, you can literally just have a more relaxed episode. And I don't see what is wrong with that. I'd rather the, the, the episode was good than it was so complicated and so strange because it was trying to be too clever. And I'd much rather it would be the first. It didn't, ha and like this episode couldn't be clever because it simply doesn't have the substance to do so. But this episode is enjoyable nonetheless. Whoa!